Winter is coming. The hunting season comes along in the north central of Eurasia, the raptors of the North Hemisphere, the golden eagle, gathering with their masters, Kazakh eagle hunters, to bash the land and to live on. Mongolia, the second largest landlocked country in the world, was the largest contiguous empire throughout the 13th and 14th centuries. The almost forgotten ancient empire by modern times. After nearly 1,000 years of vicissitude, the Mongol Empire vanished from history, but the Mongolian Kazakh retains Turkic and Mongol ancient cultural practices and religions. Following their ancestors' path, Kazakhs settled in the Western Mongolian highlands to continue their semi-nomadic lives. Altai Mountain is located in the Bayan Olgi, the westernmost province of Mongolia. Bayan Olgi means rich cradle in Mongolian. Here is the home of Kazakh hunters. They move several times a year with their herds. The winter in Mongolia is long and harsh, with temperatures ranging from negative 20 degrees to negative 45 degrees. The eagle hunters must conquer the challenge of mother nature and use their inherited skills to survive. Hunting with eagles is primarily for fur, not for meat. The thick fur from corsac foxes, wild cats, and wolves is suitable for making warm clothes and helps Kazakhs sustain during brutal cold. In summer, the Kazakhs live in Ger camp. During this time, the eagle hunters will practice with their eagles. For hundreds of years, the skill of training golden eagles has been passed on through generations, from father to son, at a young age, which is a great pride. Chai Murat, Askahabil, the leader of the family, is preparing the horses and eagles. Eagle hunters always ride when they are hunting. It is traditionally said that a Kazakh without a horse is like a bird without wings. The golden eagle has the sharpest sensitivities to sound, sudden movement, and changes in light. The broad horizon is its ally. The eagle can easily spot the fleeing prey. They wear blinders when they are not hunting to make them feel safe and calm. Without the blinders, the eagle gets excited and takes off quickly before the hunter is ready. Only young female golden eagles are trained, as they are larger, more powerful, and aggressive than male eagles, with a wingspan of eight feet and weighing up to 15 pounds when fully grown. The hunter raises the eagle when it is a few months old. They build trust and close relationships along the way. The golden eagle spends 10 years with its master and will be released when she is of breeding age. Chai Murat has done eagle hunt his whole life. He carries off multiple gold medals in the eagle hunter festivals and is one of the most skillful and experienced Bukerchi eagle hunters. He takes care of his eagles like his own kids and talks to them like talking to a close friend. That's the key to successful teamwork. The population of eagle hunters has been shrinking throughout the years. More and more young Kazakhs drift to big cities and only a few young generations carry the tradition of becoming eagle hunters. Siri Khan, Chai Murat, the youngest son of Chai Murat, decided to be the herder when he graduated from high school. He has two eagles in the past decade. The first eagle was captured by his father, and the second was obtained from his relatives. She is three years old now. Seka is quite ready to set out on his own. He hunted about 13 foxes and seven rabbits. Seka loved to train eagles and wants to become a champion like his father. Every mid-October since 2000, Golden Eagle Festival has been a major tourist attraction in Western Mongolia. 
This event aims to show Kazakhs unique heritage to the next generation and the world. During the competition, the hunters showcase their traditional falconry skills and demonstrate the communication between the hunters and their eagles. In 2011, UNESCO added Kazakh eagle hunting to the intangible culture heritage of humanity list as an example of living human heritage. The remaining eagle hunters must complete their lifetime mission. And that's the primitive journey of each Kazakh eagle hunter. When Kazakhs came into the world, they were eagle hunters.